before to cut everybody off like now. Man, Push the goddamn button, man. It's an extra little clicking. Man. You but feel it's of, me. It's part of the show. What's going that? on, gentlemen? How we doing? How we doing tonight? Boy, what's up, chat? I had went and found the red T-shirt. Y'all lucky I had no overalls. I really been looking like Super Mario, Bre- brother. I, I'm kind of glad you didn't, brother. I ain't gonna I'm just glad you did. That's all. What's Man, going on? Nigga, what's going you, on? Welcome to uh, another. What, what if I'd have bought s- a green shirt? Luigi. What? What? Uh, what? Cole said, put a. Put an M on your head like you a Luigi brother. Okay. I still don't know what it means either way, but yeah, sure, let's go with it. Or I could have put on a yellow shirt. I could have been the evil Luigi. You know what? Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. What's up, Bam? What's going on, Chrissy? How y'all doing tonight? What up, Bam? Chrissy, fellas, how y'all, how y'all feeling? Sir Duke of York, do you feel me? Duke, welcome back to the show and welcome back to Florida, brother. Hey, I don't think, brother, I don't think brother, we had to welcome back. back Florida. So, yeah, <laughs> really glad to be back. I don't think we had. I don't think we had to. You welcome back to Florida show yet? So, so here we are. Oh, yeah, because you know, being in Ohio above sea level, so high, his afterus couldn't adjust properly to that's the, what it was to the relocation. Well, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. After his, I'm still, I'm still, climate, it, it, I mean, it's still bothering me, but brother, not like it was a bit. I don't know what was going on, but yeah. I was going through it. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, see going that. I see that. But you know, still pushing to that. But we're gonna go ahead and introduce the show. Um, who's Dunk? I don't know who Dunk is. Oh, she, oh, she, <laughs> she redacted. Well, my thing moving slow as hell. Anyway, uh, but what's up? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is another episode of the Popcorn in Your Beard podcast. I'm your host, Shot, aka. La Mario Mario. Hey man, say man. This your boy Duke, your favorite fat person. Let me say this real quick. Don't save her because she don't want to be saved. Bars. 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 I'm just saying. Bars. And last but not least, I am the king MOE, aka Bowser's step grand cousin. Uh they go your sidebar right there, courtesy of Duke. What's up? He dude? did that. Um man. Uh, Matter of fact, you know what? I do got a sidebar. You can go ahead and five me up on this one. Go ahead and five me up, man. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that out there right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. You know how, you know how when you got like kids, right? And kids be watching stuff, and then they watch it over and over, like three times a day for a month straight. Mm-hmm. And you get tired of them watching it. I never get tired of my daughter watching this movie. Bro, that was that was frozen. No, Moana for me, brother. I, I yeah, Moana. My, my, my old I had to watch Moana. Moana. Oh my god. But the soundtrack, brother, played in the car. My oldest fell in love with Moana. My oldest, before I had my baby, fell in love with the Cosby show because I have it on I had it on DVD. Mm-hmm. And at five years old, she used to just binge watch Cosby Show for hours, and I'm just like, I mean, she loved Rudy, mm-hmm. but it's like, 
you you you, you done fell in love with watching something that's older than me. Hey, but bud. you love it. It's just good TV, man. So my oh, four year old, since the day she saw the Mario movie, she watched it every day for like a month straight, and I never got tired of her watching it. But we're gonna get into it though. Absolutely. Um, shout out to our co-hosts that are not here tonight. Ken is still celebrating his 78th birthday. Uh, Mika G is still on vacation. So, uh, not be laughing like Muttley from Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> from Wacky Races. <laughs> Muttley was getting them, them, them paws put on him at some time, boy. Hey, well, hey, if Muttley wouldn't go do nothing, he was going to laugh at him. Oh, he was going to laugh at something he wasn't supposed to. Golly, that made me feel old. Him and, uh, what was buddy. it, Dick Dastardly? Yeah, Dick we old. Dick Dastardly, bro. boy, Double D. Man. Penelope pissed off. You know what? That's bring a whole back, other. Bring back Wacky Man, we're going to have to do a Saturday morning uh cartoon show. I think on, we can... on Mamas, because that was my joint. <laughs> anyway, have y'all, have y'all seen this illustrious Super Mario Brothers movie? Um, the oh, Super Mario the Brothers that I was introduced to had John Leguizamo in it. Jesus <laughs> Christ, is Luigi? Uh, yeah. Well, he ain't even tell. Yeah, neither of these people that's in this movie. So there, there we go. We just we just get hire Italian actors to play Italians. Okay, gotcha for sure. That's, we're just gonna do it. No, nope. Bro- of Italian, Brooklyn, New York, son. Speaking of Italian. This this movie starts off so racist because <laughs> is what you mean, like with these with these voices. Like I can understand the cart, like the 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 game or something or the cartoon having like a little voice. But brother, you doing a commercial? You tell my stop until you until you <laughs> get your get your pipe shakes. I'm like, hey, that's, hey, brother, the science don't talk like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You got too loud. Don't do that. Don't do that. Or did it? Uh, did it? Did it? Or did it start with Bowser? No, it started. It started with the Bowser. It started with the Bowser thing. Um, so I mean, yeah, you Bowser. Bowser, Bowser rolled up on the uh, on them little whatever they were penguins and roasted down their whole castle, man. Kingdom just blew it, just blew it to the ground in big bad wolf style. Super Mario Brothers, ladies and gentlemen, the movie. Is now a year old. I think it was released uh, April fifth of last year on Netflix. Mm-hmm. And regardless to what came out prior to this, other than the cartoon, <laughs> nothing else Super Mario Brother matters. This this, yeah. this is the only one you need to watch. I don't know, it, I don't it, know it, what that movie. No, you gotta watch. <laughs> See, you gotta watch that movie though. You gotta watch that movie. And the reason why you gotta watch that movie is it was so bad. It was so bad. And I got it right. I got it right. This it's, movie oh was so bad. That you spent United States currency on it. Because at the time, we didn't have no... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. Listen, I got I got a lot of bad movies you, in the tuck. But, hey, you got to you know wash your hands after picking it up. Yeah, I, I got a <laughs> lot of bad movies in the tuck. But uh, but luckily, they, they, they modernized... They modernized the the movie and they brought they us got it right for the most part for the most part um i um i had a lot of fun with the movie uh the only thing only complaint i'll ever have is that it it felt like a mario uh movie versus a mario brothers movie uh because you miss luigi for 90 percent of the film which uh which yeah that that was a bit because uh luigi is i i played with luigi i i I really didn't play with mario when i played the game oh if we go uh super smash brothers nintendo 64 Mm. oh yeah i I take luigi over mario 10 times out of 10 i play luigi more than anybody yeah um and then it was just like it was uh like when they were doing like the little race thing, like the fact that Mario was able to pick up on stuff so fast, it, it just oh, excuse me. a lot of it felt like they just kind of like they were just doing certain stuff. But I, like I said, I still I still enjoyed the film. Um, I've watched it maybe like four times now. Um, I actually went to see, I actually went to see it in the theater when it came out. Um, 
and it was a uh, it was a really dope experience. Um, they 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 definitely uh, they definitely paid attention to detail as far as there's so many small things that they incorporated in this movie that for me made it dope. Like they didn't try to remaster any of the sound effects. Like they real life used all of the original sound effects from the original Nintendo release to like two and three Um, certain little nuances. Like when they got the call to fix the the ladies uh, plumbing issue, and yeah. Mario and Luigi was going through the city, and on the screen they yeah, looked like on, they, they gave it like that two player feel. Like you know how you play them two player games, or if one get too far ahead of the other one, and the other one end up off screen, they they die. And it's like Luigi was carrying a big heavy plumbing bag, and Mario was jumping up and down. It's like all, it's it's a bunch of little stuff in this movie that triggers my my Mario nostalgia so much. The, the Rainbow just, Road race that that was all, that was always, yeah. And what what I love the most about this movie is they left it wide open for a sequel. Yeah, they left it wide open, and that, that was Yoshi the best thing. That is a lot of things they didn't have. That's why I'm glad they they did this one the way it did because it gives oh shit. So you know they got to spin the block. Right. Because for one, with Bowser as the boss fight, the main villain, the more Mario's you play, you you know later on down the line he has like seven kids. I think it's like Mario three, and you got to go through all of the the little Koopas, the kid Koopas, before you get to Bowser. Right. So it's like they left that wide open. They mm-hmm. left Yoshi wide open. Um, Princess Daisy, I think is her name. Mm-hmm. Her, it's 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 so many things, and I'm glad that they left a lot of it out because I would have been me personally, I would have been disappointed if they tried to cram mm. everything into one movie. And it's like, mm. you know what? Do the movie, concentrate on certain things, leave certain things out, so it leaves us on the edge, like. Oh well, they gotta bring it back because of this, or they gotta spin the block because of this, or they gotta do a part two because of this. Like, all right, man, man hey, let's start the show. I love this movie. Yeah, I, um, I just I uh, I understand like when they go like get you know certain actors and stuff like that, they're doing it for the for the appeal of you know trying to reach a broader audience. I just. I always always like things to be more authentic than they are, and I mean, let, let's be honest. You know, Charlie Day and uh, Chris Pratt are not Italian, uh, and um, I was okay with Seth Rogen as uh, as Donkey King, even though it was a bit distracting on certain parts because he he can't play anybody other than Seth Rogen. Like even um like even watching him in like uh. Like Invincible, he's still he's still he's Seth Rogen. Like he's 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 forty year old virgin. He's uh knocked up Seth Rogen. Like he's, he's, yeah, he's he's always gonna be that person. Like regardless of what you try to do to him, um, he wasn't like I said, he wasn't as distracting in certain parts. Uh, he does give that that Seth Rogen, you know, like Riz or whatever. So um, so, how did you feel about uh Jack Black as Bowser? I thought he did a good job. I didn't know it was Jack Black until he started singing the song. Yeah, me either. <laughs> that's 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 when I that's when I realized it was Jack Black. At first, I did not know who who Bowser was. Uh, and like Jack Black went on a campaign with the uh with the whole Bowser thing, man. He, like he was he did a whole music right, video right, right, right. And, and everything, like which was which was dope because it was like that that song was uh was dope like you know jack uh, black definitely gave bowser what's up Ken? personality which was something prior to this movie bowser didn't have right, right. so he i've always to, to wreck shop on everything i've always been a jack black fan 
and knowing that him and his homeboy had their own band, uh, Tenacious D, mm. and it's just like, look, I, you know what? I don't, I don't think you could have casted anybody else as Bowser if, if you knew you wanted to give Bowser personality, then they, they definitely did the right thing with Jack Black. I mean, like you said about uh, old boy Chris Pratt, like, yeah, but Jack Black yeah. is like, yeah, we, we're, yeah. we definitely bringing you back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, I, I thought that uh, I th- it's just like you hire you it like if you don't want somebody to be noticeable, like and you hire certain like people to play them, um, like how uh, like Charlie Day has like a uh, you know a noticeable voice, like if you ever seen uh, horrible bosses, uh. He's the guy that uh what's what's her name's character uh always tries to uh always tries to uh smash him. The uh you ever seen horrible bosses? I haven't. No. Okay, so uh but yeah, so anyway, his his voice is just like really noticeable. So on on certain like voice actors and voice characters, you can't really like you can't really have like a distinction between them. And it's like, if you're going to have like these be your main characters, like, you know, please, please make it to where we don't, we don't pay more attention to who's playing the, the character versus the character itself. So that was just, uh, that was, that was my only like, like kind of beast with the movie, if you want to say it. Um, but it's all it already has a sequel on the way. Um I don't know if they're gonna keep uh most of the same characters. Uh I know um freaking Rotten Tomatoes blew this movie up. Uh but it was more so I think because of like mm. appreciate you, Ken. You gonna say hi? Hi. Hello. Hello. Guess what movie we're talking about? We're talking about the Super Mario Brothers. Yes. I love <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers. You love the Super Mario Brothers? It's a great film. Say hey Rashad. Hey Duke. Hey Rashad. Hey Duke. Hey. <laughs> You're not talking to me. They can't hear you because I got headphones. They can't hear you because I need headphones. She says you need headphones, cuz. <laughs> so, just to give like context on how far like this movie or like even like this genre of movie has come like if you look at this particular scene right here this is from the 1993 super mario brothers film now this is supposed to be that's supposed to be uh king cool cool the person right there the main yeah Oh, that's supposed, that's supposed to be I've never seen it. Brother, it's it's it's, it's, not, it's not good. Because so I'm guessing I'm guessing this is supposed to be Yoshi or whatever. I know this is Princess Peach. This is supposed to be that's a little head. Yeah. The little head on the big body. The little head on the big body. <laughs> yeah. That that's that was the 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 93 uh, joint with John Leguizamo and uh, Bob Hoskins. See, that's what I don't like. I don't like when you take a cartoon and try to make it, like, real. Oh, brother, they 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 they, they did that to, to to no ends. 
Like I, that's that's why I don't like it. Cause I know I know for me I wouldn't connect well with a movie if you did that. Like yeah. I, I, just, I don't like that. If you're gonna make a movie, make it you know around the original content, whatever it was. Like don't try to make stuff realistic. Well, animated is always gonna be better. Like right. Because cause you're able to do more. You're able to, like, that's why when you have, like, these live action films, like, The Lion King didn't hit as hard because real animals can't emote the way that a cartoon character can emote. So it's like right. when you have that, that, that thing where, oh, like, you want to feel pain, like, you can only feel pain as a human. Like, mm. a feeling pain as a cartoon character is going to be something extremely different right. right so i definitely i definitely like that they did come out you know and do it because that really was what we had like uh it kind of was the same thing with the teenage mutant ninja turtles like that like you know we never saw them as teenagers until this the uh, well last year because in the cartoon they weren't teenagers and uh in the movies that came on, they weren't teenagers. We finally, you know, actually saw them as, as teenagers, and they did like a they did like a really good job with it. Um, as a diehard yeah. Ninja Turtle fan, I'm probably not as big of a Ninja Turtle fan as Dre is, mm-hmm. but Ninja Turtles was something that I definitely grew up with. Like, out of all the cartoons that had toys, I had the toys, I had the video games, I had the VHS tapes, I had the, the pajamas. I had the the backpack turtle shell, like I had it all. But what, what, the, the 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 least of my concern growing up was that they were actual teenagers. All because as far as I was concerned, that was just the name of the movie. That was just the name of the show, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But yeah. when I talked about them, it was just Ninja Turtles. Gotcha. Uh, that is once again scenes from the '93 Super Mario, Mario, Super Mario Brothers. They uh, not brothers right there. That's that's. That's an uncle and his nephew. Yeah, exactly. That's an uncle, <laughs> that's a, and his nephew. That's an uncle brother. <laughs> He's an uncle brother. That's his brother, son. It's, it's, yeah. You uh, feel me? Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So, I would say, like, the one thing I did like is that while, yes, they have the whole Bowser's trying to get Peach thing, Peach isn't running off with Bowser in this. I would say that. You know, she she wasn't quote unquote for the streets in this movie. She like was. it was a chess move. Like, all right, let me let me let me slide for the for the sake of the mushroom kingdom mm-hmm. in the hopes that Mario gonna uh, gonna get his act together and, and, and yeah. come through. You see, never me? did. Princess Pete, she 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 triggered me, brother. She should. I'm- she triggers me. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. You seen the skit? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Hot Damn Our Rock. Exactly. And he. he hey, 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 Mario, suit up. We got to go get Peach. She she, uh, she she got kidnapped again. I know. I know. How you know? What do you mean you know? She called. She called me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel him. Super feel Mario, him. nigga. Brothers. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. At least that's what we used to be. Hey, that's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> he went got that big fake Tom Selleck mustache. <laughs> Brother Mar- Mario had that uh that that Ron Jeremy going on. Boy, under what? His nose. Yes. Because yeah. why did he have that mustache on? Big Ron Jeremy mustache. Yeah, yeah. Both of them had it. Both of them had it. So um, the movie starts off. Uh, <laughs> Bowser pulls up on on the uh, I mean the castle was made of ice. Penguins live in ice. They look like penguins. I'm gonna call them penguins, brother. How they were throwing those snowballs? Because <laughs> they had a star. Bowser knew it. They tried to snowball, it, and he was just like, <laughs> they were throwing like, snowballs that like, oh, you got, you got that. You that was just that was just you had a sample. Yeah, that was a sample. You know what it reminded me of? Before it get real. You ever see somebody get in a fight and they getting beat up and they ask the other person if they had enough? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you good? So Bowser good, turned good. into a full blown Charizard and just that man, Dracarys, man, the whole the thing. <laughs> it was like, yep, there go the star right there. Let me get that. He did go mad queen on her ass. I said, yeah, he I did, did, bro. He did. He said, yes, I'm going to burn, burn your old castle down. I ain't going to hold you. Bowser, he, he, he did a player move. Most people, you know, go, this nigga, bro, his whole. <laughs> <laughs> this whole village, this whole he brought everything, brother. He, he brought the kingdom. He had a floating he, kingdom. He, wherever oh, boy, he went, the kingdom went. Yeah, that said, nigga lived on Plymouth Rock. I'm not gonna lie though. That that scene, I had to remind myself it's a cartoon because they did something that was unrealistic. I didn't get it when they dropped. I guess it's supposed to be the uh, when they dropped the little spike ball thing mm-hmm. to the ground. It, it pulled the kingdom down. I was like, I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how that works. It don't work like yeah, that. That's, 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 that's the anchor. That's the anchor. That's not how that works. <laughs> that's, that's not. They start pulling it down. That's not how it works. Man, I know we haven't even gotten to this part yet, but that little, that little depressing star, brother, who, who wrote that in? You could have easily squeezed out of the cage. You chose to be in there. That man said, oh, we all going to die. Yay. And then they get saved. He's talking about boo. I said, bro, who wrote this? Who wrote this? What? This is like that for real. <laughs> this is so, so what ends up happening? Because it starts, Bowser infiltrates the Penguin Kingdom, burn their joint to the ground, take the star. Mario and Luigi was working for some guy. He fired them. They started their own plumbing business. Yeah, they had to uh, they had to go fix up their house, and then the dog was getting in the way. The dog, then, the dog was trying to uh, get in the way while they were trying to fix that plumbing. So when do we get to the part where they get where they get to the Nintendo pipe? Where they where, where they get split. So something happens where they uh where they get a call or whatever about a, a pipe um being like bad or something. So they like, oh well, we can fix it. We'll be the kings of Brooklyn. You know, everybody gonna celebrate us. Uh, so they go down to the they go down to the sewer and they start working on this pipe and it ends up being like a gateway to the uh Nintendo world to the mushroom and, um. Game. To the mushroom kingdom and then um they get separated so they like he's like and, and that's I, like that's that's the part where like i said i just i really didn't like i wanted to see more luigi in this with mario um although i can only take charlie day's voice for so long uh but i really wanted to see mario and luigi uh in the actual uh, movie together, but uh, so they, they get, get separated. They get split up. Mario goes to the Mushroom Kingdom, and Luigi goes to what, what, what was that level called? Hell, because <laughs> I can because I can hear the music in my head when you play that level in Mario. He went, he went to hell the, with the spooky ghost music and the dead mm-hmm. Koopas, where you steal on them. And they fall apart into a pile of, into a pile of bones, and then they be like, "Oh, gotcha, bitch!" And then they get up, like, "I ain't dead, nigga. I'm, I'm already dead." Are you dealing? With, are you dealing? With, you know what I'm saying? And then they put themselves back together, and they're on your ass. Oh, Haiti! So, so he getting chased by a bunch of dead cuckoos. Then he get in there with the little the little things that be floating around, and they got the hockey mask on. And I was like, it, "It's just." all the little stuff that they incorporate where if you played the game from day one and you remember all that, it just hits like, yep, I remember that. Yep, I remember this. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And they kept all of the original sound effects, which for me was a, a a major plus. So then Mario gets into Mushroom Kingdom where he meets Toad Soup. Who's your favorite Mario Bros. character? Uh, It was from Luigi's Mansion. They got it's it's a lot of Mario like games. There's a lot to pull from. 
Because the original was Donkey Kong throwing barrels down. Mm -hmm. Then from there you go Super Mario, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, where they start introducing the... Now, Duke, you want to talk about not realistic? Now, we didn't care when we was playing the game. Mm -hmm. But you have the frog suit, which he could use to swim underwater. Mm. You had the, the bear suit. You had the raccoon suit. Why is it that the yeah. raccoon suit made him fly? Raccoons yeah, cannot I, yeah. fly. You could also get a cape. You could fly with the cape. That makes sense. But the raccoon suit made him fly. Is it a tail, bro? A rat, man. If you say a squirrel, then that's okay. Maybe. Yeah, but you you right. And right. technically squirrels can't fly. They just have Secret a squirrels web squirrels. where they can they can fall with style. Secret squirrel can fly. But they gotta be up high first and jump from a high level where they can float down. But they can't start from the ground and take off and fly. Mm. They're called flying squirrels because they can glide. They can descend. Mm-hmm. In the well immortal put. words of Woody, that's not flying, that's following style. Well put, bro. You feel me? Well put. I mean, you right. It, it, you know, and well Toad put. and Toad was a thug. Toad told Peach, he said, Hey man, listen, I'm I'm here. I'm here for you. So Mario was like, Hey man, me and my brother, we got sucked into this pipe. We're trying to figure out what's going on. He was like, All right, she Come with me then, bro. Shit, I'm, 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 I'm finna go see the princess, cuz. The fact that Bowser is like a dinosaur trying to, she Turtle, trying to creep dinosaur, up on Turk. I don't know what he was. He, he was a tanuki. It is a Japanese raccoon costume. The tail allows them to glide. And blah, 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 blah. I told you. I mean, hey, me could be knowing stuff. Those are the tail, definitely be knowing stuff. I mean, she also probably got Google too. It's not like she just pulled that out of her ass. She's like, oh, by the way. <laughs> you know, I mean, she looks first lady. If one thing, first lady, she's gonna do her Googles. You feel yeah, she's gonna do her Googles. Do, do she's gonna, Google. she gonna do that. Do your Googles. Yeah. Um but yeah, that 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 was that's always been weird to me. That Bowser is like a dinosaur turtle that be trying to creep up on that breathes fire. Or is he a snapping turtle? He don't snap. He breathes fire. He so what is Bowser? A snapping turtle. A snapping turtle. <laughs> he's a snapping turtle. He angry, he's, he, he, he's a Cooper. It, I mean, it's, it, it is specific to Super Mario, bro. I'm just saying. He though. is a hybrid of like three animals. Oh. Oh. What kind oh. of Amazon? She, she, she was about to, brother. She was about to go. Uh, mm -mm. Girl, I know that. I know that. I know what that looked like it was about to say. <laughs> I'm just saying, brother. She was about to. She, brother. Shut up. Uh, and, on, anthropomorphic turtle. Huh? The snapper turtle. He's a Chinese dragon turtle. Okay, yeah, we 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 gonna we gonna stop. We gonna we gonna move on. I don't even know what that is. Chinese dragon turtle. That's what we going with. He's a Chinese dragon turtle. Um, uh, but yeah, even then, like brother, you trying you trying to push up on Pete? She a human, cuz he gonna shoot his shot regardless. He ain't tripping. He, he said, he said I'm he just, look, he just he just robbed the homie for the star. Away. He was feeling good. He hit a lick. He came up. He done read up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shoot my shot. In the locker room. Uh, so he gets Mario gets to the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi's already being held hostage by Bowser. Mario goes to the Mushroom Kingdom. Toad takes him to the princess. The princess is like, yo, who are you? He was like, my name is Mario. I'm just trying to find my brother. This little mushroom head nigga told me you could help me out. And she was like, who got your brother? And Toad was like, probably Bowser, because I ain't going to hold you. 
And she was like, "Word, Bowser got your brother? Oh, we're going to need to do some training, cuz. Because if we finna go fight Bowser, like, I, like you, I, I'm going to need to get you right. So I'm going to take you to this obstacle course. You know what I'm saying? Real Super Mario-like. What's up? You got to you gotta eat this mushroom, and you're going to grow up. And he was like, I don't even mess with mushrooms like that. I ain't going to hold you. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love, I, I love y'all. I really do, right? But if I go somewhere, like, hey, check this out. They got my boy Mo, <laughs> and they got my boy Rashad. Who got him? old cuz down there? Got him. Motherfucker, tell me that we gonna have to train before we go up there. Hey, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 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 I haven't been trained to, before you go get your own butt. Like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, but I gotta go training like Rocky to get my. <laughs> you, you know how mad I would be if I don't succeed as I just did this doggone boot camp training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, man. I don't know how they got caught. Never mind. Come on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Dang. Worry about it. But then you crazy. eat the mushroom and you grow up the kid size and be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Well, I just hope it's kid size. Not really. You know. He, he just turned. If I could do that every time my kids do something, I told them not to do I eat the mushroom. Like, I told you, Joe, motherfucking ass. <laughs> They, they don't respect you as a six two nigga. <laughs> <You> have- <laughs> oh, so oh, so six two and a half ain't enough. Yeah, y'all don't respect yeah. that. Oh, okay, I gotta go seven foot on your ass for you to get scared. But kids on kids only feel you when they buy you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna call your mama. Call my mama. But once they get in the room, boy, they call you all kind of. Stuff. Punch in the wall. I wish he would come in here. How about he gonna beat me? Beat me then. So Peach hook up the obstacle course, and it is super duper Mario like, which I appreciate with all the with the with the rotating fireball wheels and the and the the Venus flytrap it, 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 it plants it it and the blocks that 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 drop when you step on them. And I was just like, all right, the the, the 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 missiles with the faces on them. I was like, okay. Somebody was paying attention. Somebody went back and did their homework and got in a bag and was like, we finna go old school Nintendo Mario on this movie. And that's part of the reason why I love it so much. With 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 what is five buttons? Yeah, where I want it. Five buttons on the thing. Nigga, A, B, start and select. That was it. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't had too many buttons. <laughs> you ain't had too many buttons. You was only able to do so much. You don't be able to do so much. So she, so Princess Peach trained him up. I think there was a scene where they went out into like an open, like. What, 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 what is that land called? Like when it's just like a. It, it was full of the little fire flowers. Forest. <laughs> I don't know, cuz. A field? A prairie? I don't know. And I'm like, that was the that was the only power up that he never used. Mm-hmm. And he got a cat suit when he went to fight Donkey Kong. I don't mm-hmm. remember the cat suit in the video game. Cat suit. He had a cat suit. So after Peach put Mario through the obstacle course, she was like, you know what? Is is these cats across town? We gonna need an army. To fight Bowser, so we gotta we gotta go holler at them boys on the south side and, and 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 see if we can link up with them. And that's when the whole Mario Kart concept was thrown into the movie when mm-hmm. the when the when the whoever that Kong was came and picked them up and was driving them through the Donkey Kong level. I was like, that's fire. Crazy which, Kong. which 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 would be even more rewarding. When everybody got their carts and they had the whole rainbow road scene, I was like, "Yes, this, this, this that, that's what I'm talking about." So yeah, they having, go, having so they pick go your, to the, pick your car. Was, so they know. go to the old head cone. It was like, "All right, man, hey, you got to square up with DK. You got to square up with DK 
if you could beat him, we'll link up with you so we can go jump this nigga Bowser. And here come big goofy ass Seth Rogen. And I think we get a glimpse of Diddy Kong mm-hmm. for like a split second. He need to change he, his name first. He went, to the, he went to the King Kong movie. But yeah, Donkey Kong was putting hands, right. feet, everything on Mario. And then Peach was like, dummy, use the power-ups, cuz. Like, this, this this is why I trained you. And and the first power-up he got was a cat suit. And I was like, so, so that's I- cool. But I don't no, remember definitely no do no Diddy. No Diddy. That part. But I was like, I don't remember the cat suit the video game. What's up, Tony? Tony, what's happening, Kev? How long? How long was this man training for? Because <laughs> it, it had to be a minute. It had to be a minute because this was like he was training. His brother sitting there captive. Now, it had to be it had to be a little it had to be a little minute because he had to go through the obstacle course. And there wasn't no three day obstacle course, so you know that had to be like a little week. Then he had to get to the other thing. So his brother been gone for about two weeks now. Once again, if I go somewhere and they say, "Hey, I got the train," then they're gonna say you need an army. Did I do you need a goddamn listen? Let me tell you something, brother. I don't know who this dude is, but <laughs> what do you can, want? You, can you imagine? Like, let's say your wife and kids get kidnapped by by somebody. Like, you go out there to get them and you finally get to the place, you like, yeah, yeah, I, I gotta go get my people. You know who got them? Yeah, he got them, but uh yeah, you're gonna have to uh you gonna have to go through this little obstacle. <laughs> this nigga. What? what? What do I gotta do? I'm here to get my people, not to be agile. Well, well, I, just, I, I, just, I, I ain't trying to go. I ain't trying to go deep into the in the, in the city. Like what I gotta do? That's when you like, start yeah, man, walking you around the names, dude. Yeah, hey. Uh, I mean, you Luigi. gotta do it. Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> Walk around <laughs> yelling Luigi is wild. What you gonna get out of me? Brother, I just who, who do you? Nah. Like, nah, man. Mm-mm. Yeah, he should know that was that was not gonna be the way that he wanted to do this thing. Then he actually get to where uh where Donkey Kong is and Donkey Kong Molly Wop him. I'm like, how you gonna go up against Bowser? You done got Molly Wop. Yeah, ain't no ain't no getting back. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, you, you, you you good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love you. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hold PLP, hold it down. I'm not turning into Liam Neeson. Like this ain't gonna be taken, take, take whatever right. it was. Like that man, so, that man. Times, excuse me, sir. You know, oh, hey, Kong was like, bet if you you score up with DK and you win, not only will you have the the Kongs as an alliance, but we gonna pimp your ride. Yeah, and shout out to Toad for picking the the, the biggest cart that he that, that they could put together. Man got a monster truck. Huh? He yeah he yeah like uh that that's how women be acting, bro. Women will get the biggest car, bro, and be this big. That big, like how? Not, not, not where, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bag it into the parking space. Like what? Like why? Why is your car that big? Bag it up, drive it in reverse. <laughs> your car like, is what? you open my door. Like if you oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if your car that big, you open my door, cuz you pull up to my house and uh now, in now a, you and your soft guy here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you pull up in the F two fifty with thirty six. Like, why my, is your car that big, man? Yeah. And it don't matter that it's pink. You, you gotta hop in it. Yeah. You up there doing the little, you know, before you jump, you do the little two little steps. <laughs> you got to do the two little steps to jump in. Get a smaller car. And then it got to do the Mario sound. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> what? I 
That's what women with big cars fight men back. <laughs> they, they got attitude problems. They do. You got attitude problems. They can't never open a can of uh, spaghetti if sauce, you, but boy, listen, if you got gonna be big. If you, if you got a big truck, you a woman. You got attitude problems. If you got an SUV, you just mean mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you you in between. You, you can't. Mm-mm. You you. You just mean for no reason. Be, like you, you be seeing you be seeing these F three fifties out here, not knowing that it's a five foot two woman driving it. Mm-hmm. Like man, why is your car that big? You sitting on the phone, bro. like you, you you only take up so so much space. So you only take up so much space. And complain about how they got to jump out all the time. <laughs> Mm-mm. Nah, you want to go get you a pickup truck. Yeah. I will say like that was pro- I say that part was probably my favorite part of the movie was the Rainbow Road uh scene. It just it just was like visually like one of the like the best the best scenes. Um that and then the uh the ending where Luigi and Mario get the power up. Um and then another, another, another part that was very uh, another part that was very Mario esque. Was when Toad was taking Mario to the princess, but they had to go through the pipes to get up there. Mm-hmm. And Toad already knew where to go, and Mario was trying to figure it out. That he kept like ended up back where he started, like trying mm-hmm. to figure him out. I was like, I fucked with that. Yeah, I just don't. I don't, I don't like that the power up only lasts for so long, bro. I, that's just like if I win the power up. Let me have it, cause let me get that music for for a minute. You get that. And that music races too, boy, I tell you. <laughs> like it just it sounds like it ain't exactly <laughs> like, that's not even it's not even your culture, cuz like why, so why does that sound like that? They get the carts, they go to Rainbow Road, and Mario was like, you niggas drive on rainbows? And Peach was like, Y'all ain't got rainbows where you from? He was like, Hell no, not Brooklyn. Nah, we got and let me guess, the turtles ain't even either. No, nah, turtles in Brooklyn is pets and they slow. So they mm-hmm. they ride through Rainbow Road. One of Bowser's minions that already had to drop on him interrupted him while he was composing, uh, making a composition for Peach. <laughs> You're so cool. And with Ooh, this so star, cool. we're gonna rule. <laughs> Listen, if you fall for that, song, you need to be clapped. That is a clap. That is a classic. If you fall for that, song, shout out to Jack Black, bro. That <laughs> is that man I rhymed can, everything. I can with see peaches. him, him or Jim Carrey playing that role. Peaches, oh, peaches, 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 peaches. I oh, love yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was breaking it down, cause yeah, that definitely was freestyle. Oh yeah, he, oh he freestyled that. He had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, hey Jack, we got these lines for you for this scene. Man, fuck them lines, right, cause I got it. Give me the piano. <laughs> hit his hit his song real quick. Check this out. I got this. It went school days on. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. But can you imagine getting chased by a castle? Cause like a a big floating like burning castle. That's scary. No, nah. no. Nah. I feel like sometimes you just need to stop. Hmm. You won if that's if that's yeah. what it is. You won. You got you you damn got a city over top of you. you where you going? It's Plymouth. Yeah. Right? Where, where you going? Yeah. That's when you stop and see what they're gonna do. Yeah. yeah. If the person that kidnapped you got a castle, like a floating castle that like a floating city, they won. First of all, didn't Thanos old buddy. buddy. Hey, first of all, old buddy did uh he got bread. Maybe this is a good place for you. Because he got all this. <laughs> Maybe this is a good place for you. Ah, he the better man. Yeah, <laughs> you got Picasso on your house. He, 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 the, better, he the better man. He the so better Bowser man. Bowser run down on uh on the Mushroom Kingdom and was like, "Nigga, I'm gonna breathe fire 
on all this hill. Jakaris. Unless Peach come with me. Unless Peach throw me them, throw me them drugs. <laughs> That's what I would be. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you talking about get over there? Girl, you gonna get over there? Yeah, he trying, he trying to jacar everybody. So, 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 Peach took one for the team. Went to, you know, what I'm saying, went with Bowser and then went with the ops. They start planning the wedding. And you feel me? Bowser got super clean for the wedding. Mm-hmm. All, all, all of the ops pulled up to the wedding. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had the green exactly. turtles, the red turtles, the big bomb nigga. The the, the hammer turtles throwing turtle. Oh, going back to Rainbow the, the Road. Blue, the blue shell going turtles are... back to Rainbow Road. The blue turtle shell. If you if anybody in the chat or anybody watching this on the replay played Mario Kart, you know that whoever was in last place was gonna yeah. get a blue turtle shell. <laughs> and there was nothing you do about it. all you do is you see it in the rear view and you can't do you nothing hear that paper going off in the background mirror, 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 and, and start <laughs> off in the distance and then get up close <sighs> i know it's even crazy when you was playing that game and everybody was playing and you talking you talking crap to the person the last and they hit that little thing they got the blue turtle because <laughs> even even yeah, that's if why you try that's to why hit you the stay in second. And, and, and be in second place on purpose <laughs> If if you was in first place when he activated that blue shell, it didn't matter if you came to a complete stop. See that's why you got to on your. You got to stay. You got to stay in second until the last until the last second. I mean, the other key is you got you got you got, to, you got to know the level. You got to know the board because if you don't know the board, you can't try. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I knew the board, so I knew what all the jumps was. I knew what all the shortcuts was. Mm-hmm. All that type of stuff, brother. So somebody look, one of the things. I'm going through a shortcut, brother. I'm out. Of here. I'm out. I'm go. Next time I come to Florida, I'm bringing my Nintendo 64 with me, and we've been and, and we've been to go at it. Can you get my because I got I got three games, and Rashad, you make make sure you pull up too. I got three games that we got to get it on: Super Smash Brothers, mm-hmm. Mario Kart, right now, Double O Seven, Double O Seven, ain't gonna happen. Ain't put happen. put the PSO <laughs> up. Put the PS5 up, put the Xbox up, and I got four controllers, and I got rumble packs. What's happening? Bro, if you ain't never had, if you ain't never had to to blow on a cartridge before you play the game, you don't know what life is. You, you don't. don't. Know what life is. You don't know. What and life then is. remember, you if, never if, if, if you if you didn't handle your Nintendo correctly, <laughs> when you put the game in, you had to wedge another game on top. <laughs> <Man, laughs> all right, all right. Don't worry about it. I'm old. Don't worry about it. Because at that point, blowing it wouldn't, wouldn't just going to work. You had to put another game on top to keep it down. When I tell you the whole house got to be quiet with that game, come on, hold on. <laughs> you got to see, see if it go all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see it. That thing popped like that. Yeah. Oh, I got WWF No Mercy 2 on 64. Just for the okay. For the record. I mean, so, if, you really, if, you really, if you really want to take it back, I got a uh, Super Nintendo right here. I'm looking. No, I ain't got my Super Nintendo no more. Mm, yeah, I'm a stockpiler. Like, like if I still had everything from my childhood, like I, I still got my Dreamcast. Oh, I wanted us. I wanted to keep my Sega, man. I wanted to keep my Sega. The only I, I had... reason why I didn't keep my Sega because you know when you plug the controllers in, they had them little prongs on the inside. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't, if, if you if you was rough with plugging your controller, and some of the prongs would break out, and some of the buttons on your controller. Would break. Mm-hmm. So I got like the little Sam's Club Sega that's like this big, and it comes preloaded with like a hundred games. I got that, but I don't mm-hmm. have my original Sega. Man, because I couldn't, I couldn't get past this one level on Lion King. Boy, I was mad. I already know what level you talk about when you running through the jungle. That that is one of the hardest levels in video. Because you because you make it through the because you make it through the stampede. Then you get to <sighs> man, brother, you about to stress me out. <laughs> you about to stress. Me. Let's get back. Let's get back to the movie, man. Because that bad. level of Lion King is some bullshit. I don't care what nobody. <laughs> <laughs> if right. you know, you know. 
They nah, had no. no business turning up like, the difficulty on that level. That was not for did. kids. It the game was not for kids. Because why are you stressing me like this at eight? <laughs> like, what, that, what that whole level. Oh, my God. Like, why do I have this much stress on my chest at eight years old? Because I can't play as a level. I can't have you thinking about that thing. And then, on top of that, when you go back to next day, you got to start from... <laughs> You play the rest of the level angry, cuz. You play everything mad at that. Well, boy, when PlayStation came out and they had uh get uh memory cards, well, I, I boy, I was I was so happy. You had to have money for that. <laughs> you, you got a memory card for well, Christmas, well, see, it, unless you got the one that came with the memory card. Cause they had the bundle that came Shit, with the memory card. I, I was five fingering them bad boy. I had at least three or four. I used to, I used to borrow my homeboys on. Hey man, let me use your memory card today. Use your memory card real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. So, Luigi, they got Luigi in the cage with the little depressing ass star, and everybody else that they had captured. That little star was Bowser and got Peach. Mario then linked up with the Kongs to go back and and fight Bowser. And they crash the whip. And it turns into Super Smash Brothers, pretty much. Bro, what was that star, man? I, I I'm sorry. What like cause it it, it, it was cause, life was look and, and it gave up on life. That's what it was. It gave up on life. It was ready to die. It was disappointed when it didn't. I'm like, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Throw his head back in. Throw him in the in the in the in the in the uh in the thing, man. Just throw him in the thing. Cause cause what are we doing? Just Dracar's here, because he don't want to be here no way. Yeah, just, just let him go. It's not even fun having him as a prisoner because he like he's ready to go. It says it says the Luma star isn't suicidal. He just accepts his own mortality and waits for the day when it's time to die. What, like, what, like, why would you put that in the kids' movie? So, Peach manages to freeze Bowser, all oh, hell is breaking loose. That, but then Bowser turns into Ronald Reagan. You know what Ronald Reagan did? He pushed the goddamn button. Oh, let's get Mushroom Kingdom out of here, cuz. But big ass 30 foot missile come out. <laughs> yeah, Mario got to run from it. Go, go, gadget Mario. Poked him in his eye like Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm just saying, Peach, this, may, this, this might be a better place for you. You know, <laughs> somebody love you that bad to shoot a missile. I'm sorry, they got yeah, you. Yeah. They got you. I got in there at the house with tools. <laughs> so I, yeah. got I got in there at the house with tools. Just, I, ain't got nothing that's, I ain't got nothing that's gonna combat a missile. I can tell you yeah. that. The, the, the missile was the size of goddamn the Empire State, Texas. <laughs> the missile was the size of Texas. Like, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Mm -mm. So Mario is flying for his life. This big, big ass bomb is on his ass. So he manages to fly past the tunnel that he came out of in the beginning of the movie and was like, got something for your ass. Sent him through that tunnel. The tunnel sent him out to outer space where uh the, the same portal that Thanos came through when he infiltrated the Earth. <laughs> he ends up back in New York. All of the ops, Bowser included, comes through that same portal back to Earth and was like, you know what? It's time for me to square up on you niggas. I'm tired of your red shirt. I'm tired of your green shirt. It's time for me to square up on you niggas. Mm -hmm. And out the gate, he is handling these niggas. They can't do nothing Easily. with him. Easily. 
He's he like he, Mario was about to quit. He like that little country kid from uh he was Butch Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser He's, was uh, Butch Magnus. What, what's what's my man name for recess? Uh Hey, what's his name? Nah, that man, he turned it into a Spinelli. At one point. I'm handling everybody. And then right when them, when Bowser had Mario on the ropes, Luigi came through in the clutch. They managed to get a hold of the star. They split it in half. I gave Duke a star once. Hey, brother, thought we were going to talk about that. <laughs> they did the opposite of what it did to them. <laughs> That's what it did. did the opposite of what it did to them. Because you'd be in jail. Thanks. <laughs> hey, nigga, these, these gummy savers say shit. All right, don't worry about it. <laughs> you shouldn't have been talking shit. It's time, time for popcorn. You, it, look, it, it, <laughs> it's time for popcorn. You beard to go on another trip. Man. Hey, hey, bro was like, "Hey, bro, don't do it." Duke was like, "I don't give a fuck, Keisha." And then next oh. thing you know, he was doing this. Right. <laughs> Hey man, nah, them they make me feel like little Daryl, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like little Daryl, cuz. I couldn't move. My head was stuck in the same spot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I had two of them. Before we went to Miami, I because you know a star got five got five legs on it. I bit off one leg and was on my Ass. I said, oh boy. I, I said, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I just think God, I'm the size I am. Because, brother, if I've been in this small little. <laughs> you've been. God damn, dead. everybody went to sleep. That's fucked up. You've been, you, you've been dead. I mean, you've been in jail, cuz. <laughs> you've been in jail. You were in jail. Oh, man. So Mario and Luigi, they split the star in half. They both go Super Saiyan, start smashing everything in sight. They defeat Bowser. They give him the blue mushrooms, shrink him down, put him in a jelly jar. And it was at that moment where I said, you know what? Power-ups, whether they have positive effects or negative effects, they're only temporary. They're only going to be able to keep him in that jelly jar for so long. Mm -hmm. Part two. Mm, Yep. Because the most that they can do is wait for him to grow back up, break the jelly jar, shackle him down, exile him, put him in a cave somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then the seven Koopa kids come and break him out of bondage. And they say, oh, yeah, we about to get our revenge on Mario and Luigi. Then we get to part two. Then they introduce Yoshi. Then they introduce all of the other levels of Mario that they didn't incorporate. Because in this one, they had the the, the haunted Luigi, Luigi's Mansion level. They had Mushroom Kingdom. They did Rainbow Road, the, 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 the treetop level from Mario Kart. I'm like, you still got so much other stuff you can use. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna continue to do it. Well, they done listen, once they start making these movies, they're gonna fast and the fury some up, boy. They're gonna it's gonna get crazy. Just keep using all of the original sound effects. Just keep doing that. Don't remaster them, don't remake them, keep using the original. 8-bit, 16-bit sound effects. Mm. Keep it's using nice. those small details from the original Mario. You won't go wrong. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to turn into Fast and the Furious, though. Watch what I tell you. 
It's, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> Every movie goes Fast and the Furious at some point. Bro. Oh, that dumb. That, that damn King Kong pissed me off so bad. King Kong pissed you off? Bro, I don't know what they got going on. Mm. You talking about the King Kong Godzilla movie? Yeah. Bro, I still ain't seen it. Don't, don't, don't go see it. What you what, what you writing this movie, Mo? Put a Super Mario Brothers? Mm-hmm. Five pill, yeah, cuz. Okay. Okay. It, it it triggered too much nostalgia for me. And it hit on so many levels that if you aren't familiar with Mario, it's a lot of little things that you wouldn't have noticed. But I already knew going into watching this movie for the first time, I was going to use a fine tooth comb. And I wasn't disappointed. Like I said, as many times as my daughter ran this movie into the ground, I still have not got tired of her watching this movie. Mm-hmm. And I'm with it every single time. So even on that note, her as a four-year-old loving something that I probably played and watched when I was four years old. Mm-hmm. And just seeing it come full circle and seeing her love it as much as I did as a kid, that that also added to why I love it so much. Duke, and I still like have you? Mario games to these day, to this day. Duke, what's your rating, brother? I'm gonna say four and a half, only because how they did my boy Luigi. Okay. Yeah, Luigi got to get more screen time in the next. Yeah, they ain't want that. Um, I'm going with a four out of five uh, for the same reason. Um. Like I like, I'm not saying that I want more characters. Like, but like I want to be able to separate the actor from the character. And it's like when you hire certain voice actors for characters, it just kind of takes over and it becomes that actor as that character versus the actor playing that character. So, but I mean, I made your gripes with it. Like I said, it was a I, I love the look of it. Um, just the animation. Animation has come so far, especially like when we were kids. It's it's just it's honestly ridiculous. And then seeing it on a big screen like made it even worse, like even crazier for me. But um, but no, I uh, I definitely loved it with uh, the addition of uh, Jack Black. Um, his Peaches song is top tier. Uh, go download it, listen to it. Um, it's available on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. music. <laughs> but, uh, As a matter of fact, another small detail whenever you run full speed with Mario, when he hits his top speed, what does he do? He put them, Nar- them Naruto arms out. Mm. They even incorporated, incorporated that in the movie. Just the, li- the little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Shaq. only thing he did—the only thing he didn't do—was jump on the flag and slide down. That's the only thing he did do. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be in the next one. But that was our review for Super Mario Brothers. I don't know if you got any comments uh, that you want to leave us. Um, if you're watching this on replay, or if you're watching this live. Uh, just make sure you leave some comments and some love and make sure you like the video. Um, still trying to figure out what we're going to do for Tuesday. Uh, it's probably going to be terrible again. I don't know. It um, has to be. Whatever it is, it has to be terrible. Because, boy, Duke, I know you missed it, brother, but you got to go watch. I'm going to go watch it. I can't, you know, unfortunately, but fortunately, with my new job, I'm not gonna be able to make on Tuesdays. But mm-hmm. I watch the podcast. I'm, I'm be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not running to the TV to watch. This. <laughs> that's what, that's what. Show. Brother, it's 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 a it's a journey. Yeah, it sounds like a dream. It sounds like a you know you nightmare, dream, nightmare a dream that just don't make no sense. You know, like. Nightmare. The whole shower scene thing is just yeah, brother. That that part was that, yeah. Let me fix the outdoor shower. Oh snap! This joint work. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, uh, my shirt wet. Uh, let me show me. Yeah. 
Let me show my hairy belly. <laughs> what is this? Well, Who thought this was sexy? Off the water, trying to be. This ain't a commercial. Come yeah, on. looking, old looking girl the water over there like with the light, with the light skin swing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that somebody watching me? Who that is? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Um, all right, all right, all right. Well, yeah. We'll definitely uh, keep y'all updated on the Tuesday movie. Make sure you check out the Instagram for any updates that we'll put out. Um, And we'll catch y'all on Tuesday uh, right here on the Popcorn and Beer podcast. I've been your host, Rashad, a.k.a. LaMario Mario. Hey, man. Say, man. This your boy, Duke. You favor that person. Hey, man. Don't save him. You don't want to be saved. And last but not least, I am the King of Mawi, a.k.a. Bowser's step-grandcousin. I need to figure out how to hook my 64 up to my TV so I can stream uh, these games on Twitch. You feel mm-hmm. So when I do that, I'm going to let y'all know. So y'all can pull up and watch me play classic games on E64, Dreamcast, all that shit. And on that note, we going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Be easy. Hey, before to cut everybody off, like now. Man, Speak on it, brother. Speak on it.